First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Paleo Hebrew, it's called Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity, in peace, blessings and healings unto the elect and the multitude, because that's why we do these videos. And uh, today I want to talk about this. It says uh, Biden establishes government task force to combat anti-Semitism. And I want to explain why, man. You know, our people, you know what I'm saying, blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And even if you look like a so-called white person, but a Chinese person or whatever, but you go back to our people through your forefathers, you're an Israelite. Even though you might look like somebody else, you feel like an outcast. That's because you're an Israelite, man. So, you know, the reason I wanted to talk about this today because there is nothing new under the sun. Okay, this is uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that have been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. And what do I mean by this scripture? And what does it mean by this scripture? You know, these people right here are the Greeks. You know what I'm saying? And so we're the Israelites. We've been fighting with these people ever since they came down from Mount Seir. You know, even when we got out of Egypt, we was fighting with these people. We, they was the first people we fought with, you know, the Amalekites, you know, the Edomites. You know, so we always been, you know, around these people. We've been fighting with these people, been enslaved by these people before. Okay. And the reason I wanted to get that because they always had a big problem with our people. You know what I'm saying? Being separated from everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you have Bashemesha gave us law, statutes and commandments, but they always wanted to make us you know not a uh, hold to that you know what i'm saying and they've got real violent with our people and now they're doing it again you know what i'm saying they don't want our people to um profess to be an the israelite they want us to be niggas and you're nothing you're black stay over there in your black culture and just sit over there in the corner and uh shut up some of your people will sell out and will make you uh want to be basketball players and football players they, this is what they want us to do they don't want us to come back to the Lord and this always has happened that's why you know what I'm saying I wanted to talk about you know first Maccabees and second Maccabees because if you know anything about the scriptures you know what I'm saying these people have been ruling since like the 1400s 1500s 1600s they got back in rulership but you know um the Bible you know it has 66 books in it right now you know the modern Bible but in 1885 this is when these people was ruling they took out the apocrypha you know from the scriptures it says right here the 1611 the 1611 is the most accurate Bible you can get today. King James Bible also printed the Apocrypha. So, you know, the Apocrypha is part of the canon. Okay, it's part of the canon of the scriptures because, you know, you know, if you know anything about the scriptures, the modern day scriptures, it has, um, it goes to Malachi to Matthew. So, you know what I'm saying? The Persian captivity and then it skips the Greek captivity. You know what I'm saying? It skips all that stuff. It goes straight into the Roman captivity. So where is all that history at? It's in the Apocrypha. You know what I'm saying? And these these so-called white people, you know, they're Edomites. They was ruling. You know what I'm saying? I got some pictures right here just to, you know. This is a, you know, the so-called white man doesn't like, well, doesn't know and doesn't like where he comes from. You know what I'm saying? That's why he calls himself something else. That's why he takes, that's why he took our identity in this time, in this era that we're in right now, you know, so the so-called white man, you know, he's an Edomite, you know what I'm saying? So the history, you know, of um, of when they was ruling is in the scriptures, you know, of Alexander, the Macedonian, you know, which is an Edomite. That's in the Apocrypha, man. It's very important because they're acting the same way they was acting back in the day towards our people. You know, the Bible was written by our forefathers and they was writing how these Edomites was acting, man. They're real violent towards our people, man. They don't like us to um, uphold to what Yahweh Shemeshach gave us because they're the wicked. You know what I'm saying? They was created that way. I got this picture right here because it goes on to what they was doing. You know, Mount Seir, this is where they're really from. The land of Edom, Bozrah, that's where the so-called white man's from. You know what I'm saying? To Greece. Then they went to Greece, to Rome, Spain, France, Germany, Russia, Great Britain, and now all the way to the United States. Yeah, got some coins. Like I said, there's nothing new under the sun, man. Nothing new under the sun. Okay, and before I get that article, I just wanted to get this stuff because you got to explain this stuff, man. You know, because they might not know where they come from. And what does it say in the scriptures? 
you know, it's Mount Seir right here. What does it tell you in the scriptures to prophesy against who? Let's go to Ezekiel. Ezekiel 35. A prophesy against Mount Seir. So they got to know too, man. Y'all are Edomites. And it just is what it is. And y'all got a perpetual hatred for our people. Ezekiel 35 and 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. And has shed the, the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity. In the time that their iniquity had an end. So they have a what? Perpetual hatred for our people. You know, and we're going to read in Maccabees what they was doing to our people, man. You know, because what was these people doing in Rome? They was crucifying our people. The blacks, the real Jews, they was crucifying our people. And when they got over here to America, what they did to the northern tribes, which are, which are Israelites also, what they was doing to them, to the Native Americans and the Latinos when they got over here. Okay, so we're going to read, you know, what they was doing in Greek times. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing new under the sun, like it says in the Ecclesiastes. These people are violent, man. Let's go to this word perpetual real quick. What does perpetual mean? And we, you know they got a perpetual hatred for our people. These people like to deny it. They didn't call it anti-Semitic. I don't know what they're going to call it. But our people amongst us, when we get together, when we talk, we know that they got a perpetual hatred for us. When we get around them, we just act all, yeah, yeah, whatever. Okay? But amongst our people, we know the black Latinos and Native Americans, you know, they don't like us. And uh, it is what it is. It says, um... A long duration. <laughs> Forever. Everlasting. These people do not like us, man. You know, these people do not like us whatsoever. Evermore. Old, ancient. You know, it's that ancient hatred. Well, why is there an ancient hatred for our people, man? You know, if you in the know, you know why. If you in the know, you know why. If you in the know, okay? <laughs> they do not like us, okay? Our forefather... You know, Jacob stole his blessing, the stolen blessing. Our people stole the kingdom of heaven from these people, man. You know, and that's why it's so deep down in them, man. They hate us, man. You know, but it was always going to go to us anyway because, you know, Yahweh and Mashiach tricked them. You know what I'm saying? Because at first, you know, Cain killed Abel. So uh, Esau was born first this time, which was Cain. You know, when Jacob took the blessing from him, it was ancient payback, man. Ancient payback. You know, only the faithful understand what I'm saying right there. But it says right here, this is Esau's blessing in uh, Genesis 27. Okay, but when you go down here, it says, And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. So Esau had descendants, and his descendants are the Edomites. Okay, and uh, his his descendants don't like us. Okay. It just is what it is. It's ancient hatred, man. Okay, perpetual, just like it says in um, Ezekiel 35. Now, when you read um, all of Ezekiel 35, is their judgment for doing what they did towards the Israelites. Okay, because, you know, they should have never touched us in the first place. But, you know, they'll pay. They'll pay in the end, okay? So, so um, I want to read this article real quick, and then I'm going to get the first Maccabees, okay? President Biden will establish a task force to coordinate government efforts to address anti-Semitism and other forms of religious bigotry. The White House said Monday in the wake of a rise of anti-Semitic rhetoric from high-profile public figures. Now, what have we have been seeing in the news lately? Kanye and we have, saw, we have seen Kyrie, okay? And then we saw this Israelite group march at the Barclays Center. So all this coincides, okay? Because the people who, like, really repented and turned back to the Lord, we, we ain't going to fight these people, man. We're going to let the Lord do his thing, okay? We're going to let the Lord do that. But these people know we're Israelites, okay? The elites I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the regular white person. You know, they're, they're just going to scoff and do what they do, man. They've been doing it for years and years. But we don't really care what they're doing. We care about the elites and what these people are doing because they've been using the same playbook over and over and over and over and over again, man, they haven't changed whatsoever, man. Just like these buildings haven't changed. Just like these buildings haven't, just like their coinage hasn't changed, okay? Just like their buildings haven't changed. Same architecture they've been using ever since they was in the mountains, man, okay? Same people, same tactics, okay? Same hatred. Edomites. It says Biden is creating a interagency group led by the staff at the domestic Policy Council and the National Security Council press 
Secretary Karen Jean Perry said in a statement, the group's first order of business will be to formulate a national strategy to counter anti-Semitism. And we all know that um, the Israelites that's professing themselves to be Israelites were not going to be on the Internet for long. Okay, Yahweh B'Shem Meshach said grace was for a spiritual allotted amount of time. It wasn't forever. You know, all, all the avenues of truth was going to get shut down. You know, because Yahweh B'Shem Meshach put these people in a trick bag, you know. Yahweh B'Shem Meshach plays chess. He doesn't play checkers, you know. He made y'all write the Constitution so our people can be free. Because we was never able to do what we do, you know, like we're doing now. Which we're freely able to speak, you know. The prophets back in the day. You know, in Rome, they was getting killed, man. You know what I'm saying? Our forefathers were getting fucked up, man. But you have Bashar Mishal on this side, you know, he was like, okay, he let them write the Constitution, and then he, then you have Bashar Mishal let us free. You know what I'm saying? And then we got into the Constitution, and they couldn't really do nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? Had the Civil Rights Movement and all that. You know, because even before then, they was hanging our people. They was, KKK was doing mad shit to our people, but you have Bashar Mishal halted all that violence for a little second. So the prophets can do their job, okay? And that's what they have done, you know, prophesied, you know, uh, and woke up our people. You know what I'm saying? Now a lot of our people are saying that we're Israelites, you know, blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, Italians, Irish, you know, people. And it's just a beautiful thing to see. But it wasn't a forever thing. Grace was only for an allotted amount of time, a spiritual allotted amount of time. I say it all the time. Amos saying 11, Behold, the days come, say if you have us from Meshach, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh Basham Meshach. So the ones who repented are waking up as we speak, but at the same time as our people wake up, Yahweh Basham Meshach is going to let them do famine of the word. Okay? Because once that 144,000 person gets sealed, the internet doesn't need, we don't need the internet anymore. That person got sealed. Now it's, now it's the end, okay? There's only a certain amount of number of people that's going to wake up. It tells you that in Revelation 7 and Revelation 14. It talks about 144,000 and the, and, the, and the multitude. That's the only people that need to wake up. And then you can take the internet down, okay? You can take everything down. We don't care anymore after that, okay? And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and Meshach and what? And shall not find it. This is talking about the people who are on the fence, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all people think Israelites are just on the corner, you know what I'm saying, preaching on the streets for no reason. You just think somebody woke up one day and they just doing that, you know, for no reason. No, man, it's, it's spiritual, man. You know, they woke up because the Lord told them to do that, man. Point blank, period. Now, I want to get this real quick, you know, just to give you like a glimpse. Just to give you a glimpse. People like this. You think people like this on the corners, just doing this out, like, nah, man, the Lord's setting up the prophets in the last, just like in Rome, just like Jeremiah, just like Isaiah, you know, they back today, man, trying to wake y'all people up, but Amos saying 11, it's not going to be forever, you know, stuff like this is going to get men like this off the streets, okay, because these people are waking up our people, blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, Irish, Italian, you know what I'm saying, that look white, but go back to our people, it's a beautiful thing. But it wasn't going to be forever. You know what I'm saying? Let me get this scripture. It was prophecy. Isaiah 30 and 20. And, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. This was prophecy of the last days that we will lose our heritage, which we did. The transatlantic slave trade, basically, you know, that 400 years made us, you know, it wasn't like the Egyptian you know what I'm saying? Uh, captivity, our people was under because we knew who we are. We we knew who we were. You know, this transatlantic slave trade in America, which is uh, a ba basically spiritual Egypt, spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah. We lost everything. We lost our heritage. So Yahweh Shemeshah, you know, um, sent the prophets, you know, last and like he said he would, to wake us up. And and we woke up. And now, you know, our enemy is trying to what? He's trying to counteract that. Okay, so we would see our teachers, but it wouldn't be a forever thing, you know, point blank period. And soon, what are the prophets going to do? Let me get Ezekiel 3 and 26. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy, from the roof of thy mouth, and thou shalt be dumb, and thou shalt not be to them a reprover, for there are a rebellious house. So, you know, the prophets were sent to warn us, but they're going to, Yahweh is going to close their mouth because the famine of the word is going to come. 
Okay, because um, that uh, 144,000 in the multitude is going to be sealed. So there's no more need for the prophets to be out there anymore. Then judgment is going to rain down like water. Um, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word out of my mouth and give them warning for me. And this is what these men have done. They have done the job wonderfully, man. Okay, I'm awake, man, doing this video as we speak. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for Yahweh Shemeshah sending the spirit down here on men, because that's how Yahweh Shemeshah speaks. He speaks through men. People think he be, I don't know what, what people think he be doing. No, he speaks through his servants. Okay? Like I said, you think men just got up one day and just doing this for no reason? Then y'all people just, you're just whatever. But these people know. That's why they're doing this, to combat combats go to war with okay you know y'all people just think this is a light thing man this is daily serious you know and i'm going to get how serious it's going to get these people do not play as we're going to read in Mac first maccabees they do not like our people coming back to who we are they work so hard to um strip everything from us they have worked hard spent trillions okay got witches and warlocks up in the woods doing all type of weirdo acts trying to trying to keep power man they have worked hard you did you did, you know us waking up means the end of their world okay you know so they're gonna fight for this thing man but yeah how about some is gonna fight as well you know second Ezra 6 and 9 for esau is the end of the world and jacob is the beginning of it that fall off I always got to get this they know this they know our awakening is their end because this is the last captivity that it was written about in the scriptures you know what I'm saying? Point blank period. Let me get this picture. Daniel had a dream. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he dreamed about the Babylonian Empire, Medio Persian Empire, the Greek Empire with Alexander, the Roman Empire, okay, and America, NATO, and the EU. And then what? The kingdom of heaven will come. These people know this, man. You know, they know this. Okay. Us waking up is very detrimental to their rulership. You know, so they're going to try to do everything they can to combat anti-Semitism. Okay. The Grecians, the Romans, the, 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 they're Edomites. They do not like our people. Okay. They don't want us to come back to this thing. You know, but hey, man, if you were Edomite, live it up because it's over. Okay. So let's go to uh, First Maccabees now. Okay. It's talking about Alexander right here in the first um, scripture. The Macedonian, which is the Edomite, okay. Now, um, I want to go down a little bit to Antiochus. Okay, 10. It says, And there came out of them a wicked root Antiochus, surnamed Epiphanes, son of Antiochus the king, who had been a hostage at Rome. And he had reigned a hundred and thirty and seventieth year of the kingdom of the Greeks. So, this is Antiochus, okay. Just like somebody like Biden, okay. Somebody like this, okay. It's an Edomite, okay? It says, In those days went there out Israel wicked men, so Israelites, who persuaded many. Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are round about us, for since we departed from them, we had had much sorrow. So like somebody like Charles Barkley, somebody like Shaq, uh, Kenny, somebody like Kanye, somebody like these rappers, okay? Somebody like these actors of our people, okay? Same shit. Nothing new under the sun. Wicked of our people go out and sell out to these Edomites, okay? For riches and fame, okay? So, going down. Let me say another thing. The reason they took this out the Bible, you know, the Apocrypha also, because they confused people with Christianity with um the Gentiles, okay? But if you read, you know, the Apocrypha, because like I, so like I said, it skipped to from the Persian Yomedian you know what I'm saying? Slavery all the way to the Roman slavery. So where is the the Greek slavery at? It's in the Apocrypha. Okay, that's why they took it out. Because it, it identifies who these people are, which are Edomites. And it identifies who the um, Gentiles are in the New Testament. Okay, it's talking about our people. Because some of our people in Greek times, they left. Okay, they left the covenant and they followed the heathen, man. Okay. And they was doing basically whatever Christianity was back in the day. And it says, um, so this device pleased them well. 
Then certain other people were so forward herein that they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. So this is why Yahweh had to walk with us in Rome because that's why he said go out to the Gentiles. You know what I'm saying? Because our people was in a Gentile state of mind. They didn't know they was Israelites because, you know, if Greek all the way to Rome, you just look at the time period, how long that was. They had children. They was they wasn't raised as being Israelites. They was raised as being heathens. You know what I'm saying? So the prophets had to go out to the four corners of the earth in the east back then and gather them back in the fold. Point blank period. That's why they took the uh, pocket out the Bible, man. Point blank period. You know, in uh, what year? 1885. You know what I'm saying? They don't like our people. They didn't, they beat the shit out of us in American slavery for 400 years until we was mentally destroyed. We didn't know who we was anymore. They was, you saw the movies being saying your name ain't a Hebrew name. Your name is John, nigga. They beat the beat John in you and shit. You know what I'm saying? These people, they knew, man. They knew who we were. They was gonna beat it out of us. And they was going to take over the world. But it was always prophesied that they was going to rule again. You know what I'm saying? Because Rome fell and then they didn't get back in power for a thousand years because the Byzantine Empire was ruling. Okay? Then they got back in power. Then they, they said, we're not going through this again. You know what I'm saying? So they tried to take us out, but it didn't really work. You know, uh, the Egyptians tried to take us out also. It didn't really work. Herod tried to take Yahweh out. really didn't work. You know, it just never works for these people. So, yeah, certain of our people uh, sell out. So I want to go down a little bit. Um, yeah, 41. It says, moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. And that's what they're doing right now. You know what I'm saying? This one world religion. They want everybody to be the same. See, yeah, how about Shemeshah doesn't want everybody to be the same? Esau wants everybody to be equal. Nah, man, we don't want to be equal with you, man. You know, they'll they'll kill you to uh, for for what they believe in. And we're going to get it. And everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathen agreed according to the commandment of the king. So, everybody in Greek times, the Greeks ruled, you know what I'm saying? So, they said, y'all going to live like this and do it. So, this is what they did. Yea, many also of the Israelites consented to his religion and sacrificed unto idols and profaned the Sabbath. Okay, so certain of our people, like I said, the Gentiles in the New Testament, these are, the, these are the, their forefathers right here. Because they grew up in over there in Greek times, they left. You know what I'm saying? They spread around, you know, and they wasn't practicing being an Israelite anymore. They was practicing whatever religion was back in Greek times. For the king has sent letters by messengers unto Jerusalem and the cities of Judah that they should follow the strange laws of the land. And this is what they're doing to our people right now. They got little Nas X and all these pushing this heavy gay agenda on our people right now with uh, Dwayne Wade's son and... You know what I'm saying? They're pushing rap music. You know what I'm saying? Jewish people are paying certain people of our nation to go out there and talk about raping and uh, not raping, uh, shit, adultery, have sex with other people's wives, buy a gold chain. Uh, you know what these rappers rap about? Just a bunch of st stupid ass shit. So, this is what they're doing to our people right now. And uh, forbid burnt offerings and sacrifice and drink offerings in the temple. And that they should profane the Sabbaths and festival days. And another thing I want to say is the colleges today, especially HBCUs, they uh they do them Greek customs over there. Okay? Alpha, Sigma, and all this uh, wicked ass shit. So this is still going on today, man. HBCUs do all this Greek shit. Okay? Still going on today. They know why. They don't want our people to come back to being Israelites. It's happening in their face now. They don't like it. So what? Get over it. But they're not going to get over it. And we're going to get a second Maccabees. That's the last scripture I'm going to get. You know, this was happening in Israel back in the day when the Greeks was ruling. You know, I don't want to read it all. You can go read it for yourself. But when we get down to the nitty gritty, it says, um, And when time, according to the commandment, they put to death certain women that had caused their children to be circumcised. So there was people who didn't listen. Just like there is today. Our people are are waking up out the out of because we've been in slavery, you know, and they push black culture on us. You know what I'm saying? They say you ain't shit. You been smoking crack, put guns in our the neighborhood. They burnt down Black Wall Street. They've been trying to. They've been trying to, basically, you know, keep us in this black culture mindset. But it, you know, it ha it has worked for a while. But then the prophets came back in the 70s. They've been on the street corners ever since the 70s. Now they've been on the internet since 2007. 
and they're waking up our people out of that Gentile mindset. And now we're coming back to who we are. OK, we're coming back to who we are and they want to put us back to sleep. OK, because if they put us back to sleep, America might can rule for another 50 years, but it ain't going to happen. Our people ain't going back to sleep. It's a wrap. OK, it's a wrap. Cut. It's over for you, man, because you're going to have to kill everybody that know they are Israelite now. OK, and let's keep reading. It says, and they hang their infants by their necks. So these Edomites was hanging our children, infants, by their necks. What does this sound like? Slavery, gator bait. They was hanging our babies back then. Rome, okay, uh, crucifying our people. They even crucified the king of the kings. You know what I'm saying? Cru crucify God's son. This is what these people do. Violent as hell. Perpetual hatred, just like I got. Perpetual, man. It's a perpetual. So our people was like, man, we don't want to do that. We're just going to uh, be Israelites. They was like, nah, man. We don't want you to do that. Start putting us to death. Okay? And hang their infants by their necks and, r and rifled their houses and slew them that had circumcised them. Howbeit, many in Israel were fully resolved and confirmed in themselves not to eat anything unclean. So our people, just like today, we're coming back to being an Israelite. And now we're saying we ain't down with it, man. And we don't give a fuck if there's some Jew Jewish people over there in Israel. You you are Edomites, you heathens, you Amalekites. Fuck you. Okay, and that's what our people are doing right now as we speak. They're very mad, okay? Wherefore, uh, the rather to die that they might not be defiled with meats and that they might not profane the holy covenant. So then they died and there was a great wrath upon Israel. So they was killing us, man. This is why the Maccabees wrote this. Okay, this is why this is written about because the Maccabees were standing up. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. And it, so this is first Maccabees. You know, you can read this whole thing. Basically us going to war with the Edomites. Okay, now second Maccabees. Six. Okay. Now, what thing is down here? You know, the Edomites made a law that it was, you know, basically, you couldn't profess yourself to be a Jew anymore. They made that a law. Just what they're about to do now. To combat anti-Semitism, anti-Semitism, anti-Semitic rhetoric. You know what I'm saying? Anti-Semitic rhetoric to counter anti-semitism because you got to think these elites of these edomites they know you know what they have done you know what i'm saying and uh these jewish people the elites not the regular jewish people that think they are jews the elites of these people know they're not israelites you know but they don't they trying to nip us in the bud everywhere they can you know what i'm saying and they're trying to get the world on their side and so they don't want our people to profess to be a jew and now they got the whole world to back them because somebody's in that land so who are you going to believe Somebody that's poor or somebody that's rich. Okay. And you got to pick. Do you believe the real Israelites or do you believe the people calling themselves to be Jews? You know what I'm saying? Because what does this say in Revelations? Revelations 2 and 9. Because the Israelites will be enslaved in the last days. This is what it is. We will be in America in the last days. It was prophesied about. And it just is what it is. You know, the transatlantic slave trade was prophesied about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, shot saving us from the North Country, North America was prophesied about. It's just a matter of if, if you believe it or not. The elect and the multitude believe it, and it is what it is. Revelations 2 and 9, I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And who is the synagogue of Satan? These Edomites. They're over there saying that they're Jews. Okay? But in 2 Maccabees, let's go over here in, in uh, 6 and 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days or ancient feasts or to profess himself to be a Jew. So it was outlawed by the Greeks. They're going to do another law where, you know, we're not allowed to profess ourselves to be Israelites. It's going to be outlawed. You're not allowed to go and say it on the Internet. That's why they come in with this uh, digital currency. Because you say you're an Israelite, when that digital currency comes down, they're going to cut that shit off and put your shit in the red. Okay, they don't want you to do it. Okay, and this is what it is. And you can look up this law they're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, there's nothing new under the sun. And it just is what it is. This is uh, Daniel's 8 and 25. And through his policy also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. So through his laws. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. And by peace shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes. 
the Israelites, but he shall be broken without hand. He going to lose. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe to unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and their right grievousness, which they have prescribed, you know, because we're Israelites and we can't profess ourselves to be, you know, because, you know, we want to be separated from you people. We do not want to be around you people. Okay. You know, if we had it our way, we'd be in the land of Israel right now and we wouldn't even talk to you motherfuckers, man. You know, but when the house shot comes back, all that shit going in, man. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. Uh, Psalms 94 and 20, shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame up for mischief by a law. So they frame up these uh, laws and they do it in mischief because they want to control the narrative and do whatever the fuck they want to do. You know what I'm saying? But we Israelites, it is what it is. You know, and uh, it's too late. You know what I'm saying? You're going to try to put our people back to sleep, but it ain't going to work. You're only going to get two-thirds of our people. You might get some of the lick in the multitude, the martyrs, but that's it. Other than that, yeah, how about some Meshach going to get in spiritual power, and they're going to take this world by force. You know what I'm saying? They're going to take this world by force. The saints shall um, take the world, man. Let's get this. This is uh, Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever. Even forever and ever. So, you know, that's prophecy. You know, like I said, man, it was prophecy that we would be in America. It is prophecy that we would be enslaved over here. And it is prophecy that the Edomites will be ruling America before Yahweh Shah comes. And everything has came true. Everything has came true. You know what I'm saying? Point blank, period. And these Edomites, again, is with the same shit they was doing over there in Greece. Same shit, man. They don't want our people to profess to be a Jew. They want us to uh, uh, go back to Christianity and go back to the churches and go back to slumber. But we're not going back to slumber anymore. You know what I'm saying? And it just is what it is. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me the truth. And call Halal Yehabashem and Shabashem and And I ended the video on 1144 and I didn't even know.